Hello, welcome to episode two, season two of The Curious Cook. We are your hosts, Athena Reich. And Jace Graham. Why don't you introduce our next guest as he's a friend of yours. He is indeed. Um, my friend Michael Weber will be coming in to join us. And Michael is a amazing wedding photographer. Um, he runs Studio Weber and also has a fantastic gay wedding blog called The Wedding Course. And he's kind of up and coming. He is a fantastic personality, just bright and happy and sunshiny and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Sunshine, happy, gay weddings, glitter, let's get started. What are we making today? Uh, today we're making a rosemary parm pop, which is my take on the delicious little parmesan crisps that you see at parties and in fancy restaurants and something fun to make at home. Fabulous. So the first thing we need is our rosemary figs. Mm -hmm. And if you could give me a hand, we're going to grip them by the tip, and we're gonna leave this little tip on because that's our decorative bit. Okay. And strip the rest of the leaves off. Yeah. Just straight down like that. Ooh. And these will be the sticks for our lollipops. Wow, right? okay, amazing. So we're gonna set these down and do some more. It smells fantastic. It smells amazing. And reserve these rosemary leaves for uh, another purpose. You might even see them later this season. All right, now our next step is to take our Parmesan and those look about pretty well spaced, so we can take these guys off. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna build little Parmesan circles, or discs, mm -hmm. on here. So again, I have a, my baking sheet lined with a sill pat, which we talked about on the first episode, so nothing's gonna stick to this. But if you don't have a silicone baking sheet, you can put down tin foil and a little layer of grease, and that'll keep things from sticking. So we'll take about a tablespoon of the Parmesan and build it into a tight little circle here. So if you want to sure. make a couple of those. And these are just going to stick? Yeah. The stick? The way, the stick. When, <laughs> when that cheese melts and gets all bubbly and caramelized, other than being absolutely delicious, uh -huh. it'll adhere to the stem. Amazing. It's pretty, it's pretty fantastic. Is this good? That's looking good. Is Maybe too a, much? A little, a little too much. Okay. Maybe you're killing it, though. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I love you, cheese. You should be. I love cheese. Just even them up a little bit. Make them nice. And flat. I just had no idea that it would stick to it. It's it's kind of incredible. It's amazing. The, I wanna make the Parmesan things you learn. Parmesan you know um, sculptures <laughs> all the time. And we stick it in here? Yeah, you can just rest it on there. Michael's gonna love this! I, I think he will. Yeah, he his his blog, The Wedding Horse, is just absolutely gorgeous. He has so many good ideas on there. You can go on there for inspiration for your own wedding. How about this one here? I think that one looks good. And just to make sure they adhere, we're gonna go back over with a little bit more cheese right on top. Oh my gosh. I love this because it's a popsicle, you know, so it's that sugar treat we all love, but it's salty. Yeah, the savory version of it. Yeah. And they're really fun for parties, you know, have them on a platter. Obviously, you're not gonna get full on something like this, but it's just a nice little bite to have. This and seems... it looks great. And it seems easy to make. I mean, it... are we... Relatively easy. Two ingredients. You just need an oven on 350, which should already be preheated. And uh, yeah, it doesn't take quite as much patience as some of our other recipes. I think anyone can do this. I think anyone can do this too. This is exciting. Oh, God, <laughs> All right, and now we'll pop it into our 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until it's golden brown and delicious. All right, here they are. Wow. Golden brown and delicious. The texture is amazing. Yeah, that little lattice, crispy sort of cracker. And I imagine we could mix in herbs and nuts and things into the cheese if you wanted variation. Absolutely, anything you wanted to. You could sprinkle fresh cracked pepper on top, uh, fennel seeds, herbs, yeah, anything you want. All of this into the into this before you cook it. You yeah, can you mix could mix it, it, in, it in. So I think they're cool enough for me to pick <gasps> up. Ah! And there you go, a little Parmesan pop right there. We can put these onto our platter. They are a little bit fragile, but obviously we won't be swinging them around. Let's separate that guy. Great, now that our uh, pops are out of the oven and onto the platter, let's go talk to our guest. <laughs> Here we are with our guest, Michael Weber. Hello. Hello, he is the creator of WeddingHorse.com, a blog for gay men about their gay weddings. Yes, in New York City. In New York City, excuse me. Well, <laughs> D again, we have prepared amazing 
Yeah. Parmesan pop. So we're just talking about this, make a nice little party pop. It'd actually be probably good as hors d'oeuvres at a, at a wedding. Even. Oh, absolutely. Anything you can hold exactly. as a winner. Then you need a, a cute busboy to come and pick up your stack. <laughs> What's try happening? It. So uh, tell us all about your blog, WeddingHorse.com. The Wedding Horse. Okay, so essentially we launched The Wedding Horse uh, in May of this year. There was a void in the market. Um, gay men are planning their weddings now in New York City and they need a place to go where they can find amazing vendors that are going to know how to work with them. and. Uh, so that's what we set out to do. We publish gay weddings that are happening all over the U.S. And uh, the most beautiful weddings, we're there to inspire people. So yeah, it's been going great so far. Your background is as a photographer. Yeah, so I, I started out in New York City shooting fashion. And then I quickly moved into weddings and I shot that for a couple of years. I think what intrigues me about wedding photography is that you work within the confines of what you're given. Mm -hmm. So you are using the light that is available that day. So I am always more impressed by the candid moments that you almost didn't expect but were ready to have happen. That always makes the best photo. Um, we want to play a quick gay men's wedding game. So you're gonna quiz Jason and I to see how Jason and I are up on our gay men's wedding trivia. That's good. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so what was the most hilarious song played during a gay men's processional? So when they're walking down the aisle. Oh jeez. You make me feel like a natural woman. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> uh, I I ha I have no idea. Teenage dream. Teenage dream. So it was actually. It's men. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually Madonna's Material Girl. That's even gayer than I could have imagined. <laughs> All right, guys. So I have another question for you. Which do you think is the more popular decision to go with? To have a seated dinners or to have buffet style during the reception? Seated dinner because gay men have to control everything. <laughs> the OCD gene is like this with the gay gene. <laughs> okay. I would say buffet because, like me, I probably have my mama cook the dinner, so. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people are going with buffet style. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's, it's a great way to allow your guests to eat however much they want and then go out and dance. Right, nobody's judging. No one. A lot of people. Are <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's we, judging. We hope they're not judging. <laughs> okay. So, third question, uh, and I did see this once. So, what would be a great way to end the night? How would you end your gay wedding? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, a Lady Gaga impersonator. I've ended a lot of weddings. <laughs> 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 what about you? Um. I don't know, I'm, I'm boring, I'm traditional. I'm thinking oh. just a nice dance. Wait, you didn't tell me how you would end it. How I would end my wedding? Yeah. Oh my, I don't, um, I don't know. Hopefully happily. Happily? Happily, <laughs> yes, but you gotta go out I'd with the sing. bang. I'd sing, I'd sing to my bride. Aww. I'd do a surprise serenade from a song that I wrote for her. That oh. is amazing. I'm single. Points. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the coolest things that I saw in a wedding submission was they actually had their wedding in Fire Island. Uh -huh. It was a big, beautiful home. And at the end of it, everyone, all the guests, including the couple, they jumped into the swimming pool. Aww. I had a big swimming pool party. And it was really cute because the photographer was actually able to capture the couple kissing in the middle of the pool while everyone was splashing around them. I just got chills again. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming Thank on our you. show, Michael. Of course. And all, for all you viewers, you guys can check out more all about gay man New York City weddings on WeddingHorse.com.